Hello friends, welcome to another video. This video is part two of yesterday's video where we saw all selected remove filters and all selected table and all selected column name as solution to calculate the parent to get the total of the parent category, parent level. Again, we use multiple functions to understand how they work and what was the difference. In this video, what I'm going to do is, because the ultimate goal was when we are at a level, we want to take the percentage of the parent level of that particular uh, child level. So we're going to use DAX functions and um, make this all happen to complete the solution. And I will be using the remove filters uh, as part of the solution uh, to achieve the result. Let's get to Power BI and start building the measures and uh, put the solution together. So here we are. Uh, if you remember yesterday, we, we created three different measures, some sales color region, uh, remove filter region values and region all selected. So I'm going to remove all other uh, measures for now and just keep the remove filters one. So this is some color, uh, sales color region remove filter. So why region? Because we are looking at the product and the product has a, a parent category, uh, is parent level is region. And for the region, the parent level is sector and for sector, the parent level is type. So we will write the measures first uh, individually and then we will all put, uh, put this whole thing together. So if we look at the region sales remove filter, I'm gonna copy this particular measure and and write the regions uh, then sector sales uh, remove filter we will call it sector sales remove filter so what we're going to use is so we're going to remove filters from product we're going to remove filter from the color because that's the one at the lower granularity and also we're going to remove filter now from product color region so that we can get the sector level uh, sales. So let's put this measure in here. Okay, so if we're looking at, uh, let me collapse this to entire level. So if we are into the region east northwest, so the sector is industrial, so 440, and for office, um, that sector is 460, and that's what we are getting for each region 460. So now, uh, region sales which is 130 divided by 460 will be the percentage of that particular region and um, so this is what we are calculating so this is a, a regions uh, remove filter function this is sector so again we are going to create another measure for the um, uh, for the get the type sales to calculate the percentage for each sector so to do that what we can do is we can copy our sector sales remove filter function and uh, create the new one, call it type sales. And then we are removing product color region. And the next thing we're gonna remove is product color sector. So this will give us, so removing all the filters, we are removing the filter from sector, from region, from product, from color. And that will give us the sales of type A. So let's uh, bring the new measure. We called it uh, type sales. So here you go. So if I now look at the collapse entire level. So now for industrial and office, uh, the industrial sales is 440 and the sector sales for is type A, which is a sector, which is the parent for industrial is 900 and same is coming for the office 900 so now if i 440 divided by 900 and 460 divided by 900 will be the share of each sector and um, now this is this is perfectly fine so now we want one more measure here that will be called sales all selected because then we want to get the share of our uh, type as well so what that's easy so what will be that sum sales color and then we can have all selected our product color table so because we want everything to be sum up whatever is currently selected so if there is a slicer the reason why we're using all selected so if there is a slicer let's say we have a 
slice on a color or some uh, some uh, uh, attribute of the product table so it will be dynamic based on the slicer if we don't want it to be dynamic wherever we are using all selected we will use the all function so just keep that in mind so now if i go sales all selected so this should be 1790 okay so if i collapse this okay so what we have here is now um, type which is the type column so it's a 900 sales so 900 divided by 1790 is the percentage of the this type and then that 890 divided by 1790 is is the uh, percentage of this type so now we have all the calculations in place so we can put this together now we don't need to create all these uh, filters because we want to see the percentage here as part so what would be the percentage i just uh, if i bring this column here which i just created one so i'm going to remove all the measures so what i what we want is eventually is here we want to see the percentage of each um, level uh, based on the parent level so i just um, so what we can now go to the percentage of parent which i just um, for now i've given a, a a text so what we can do here is so first we need to know what level we are at so that we can divide uh, on the on the top level so what we can so there's a few ways to do this so i created the separate measures now this is pretty straightforward here i can just uh, divide um, uh, look in the scope and then then divide um, uh, with the relevant measure but let's let's first do that so what are we going to do is we're going to use a in scope function why we need to use in is in scope function because we want to know at what level we are at so what we can do here is is in scope so the function is is the is in scope function is the column name so we'll say okay if we are we are at the product level or i'm gonna make it smaller at the color level because uh, um, product color color because that is the same granularity as the product if this is the case then divide uh, what we're going to divide is some sales which is just a sum actually we should store this in a in a variable uh, so that we don't have to uh, some sales so let's call it some sales color return so then we will use divide some sales with uh, the measure which we already created that is a region sales um, remove filter so let's take a look what does this look like so if i change the type of this to percentage here you go so now what we're seeing is this this should be always 100 percent of uh, of the region so now we are seeing here is uh, for each product what is the share within the region so if you sum this up this would be always 100 percent is in the why we're not seeing the values here because we we said is in scope so only when we are at the product level product column level then only show the percentage so let's keep on building our measure here so now we can go to the next level now next level is sector what we can do here is if our is in a sector so then again divide some sales now what is the parent for the sectors we already have a a uh, um, measure for that which is sector uh, what we call that for sector sales remove filter sorry this one should be region so when we are the region so take the region sale divided by the parent of that region which is a sector and then get the sector sales so keep on building this so i'm going to create all the measure so when we are 
at the sector level so y comma so when we are at the sector level so what we're doing is we take the sector sales and divided it by the type sales why type sales because that is the parent of the sector so that's that's what it is and when we are otherwise now we don't have anything in the hierarchy we can go into the else condition what we can do is that is at the top level which is type and then we said that my year we call is sales all selected and all right so let's see now once we put this together here you go so what we have here is um, so for each product we have the percentage based on the category or the level the parent level which is east in this case and when we are at the region level let's collapse entire level so when we are at the uh, region level so now east north and west the percentage of these three is based on the uh, the sector level so 440 140 divided by 440 is 31 percent 160 divided by 440 36 percent and so this is 100% within the uh, for that region so if we go to um, one level up so when we are at the industrial and office so so industrial has a 48% within that type and the office has a 51% within that type and similarly for for the other uh, type B as well but when we go to uh, one uh, entire level collapse so now we have the share of each type type has this type has a 50% share and this is almost 49.72 so 100%. So now we have the whole calculation based on um, so the each level is giving the percentage of the parent level. What we used is we calculated the remove filter. So I use the remove filter to um, to get into the the parent level total and then we used is in scope function to to divide our sum sales. Now, if we have to, now I create three or four different measures, but if we really want to do this in one measure, what we can do here is, um, let me show you. Okay, so one other way we can do it, instead of creating all those uh, uh, measures, uh, that was just to show the demo, but if there's no need, we can put all this together in one uh, big measure. So, again, let's call it percentage of uh, parent, uh, v2 so again actually what I will do is I will copy it from parent and then uh, I will copy the same one and go to the new measure and call it v2 so what I can do is like the way the sum seals I have already uh, stored in a variable I can also store uh, everything in a, um, a each um, values in a variable so let me show you so first let's say the first level is type so we can store it in a in a variable values so this will give us the product color type again this is to um, if you really want it to be in one big measure so type so just gonna I'm gonna store sector region I think these are the only levels so this is a sector this is a region and again here will be sector and so now we have stored this what we can do here is uh, um, the rest of the stuff will is, is in scope will stay the same because that's what we we want to know what level we are and what is the parent we want to divide uh, by so we created a major called calculate uh, sorry that's we created a major called calculate um, sales all selected so all selected is again giving the sales of the whole table selected so what we can do is now we can apply um, the the variable and uh, to filter for the specific um, a, a ch a child level we are at at this point in time when we are in scope in the product level uh, it means we want to apply a, a region sector and type filter on top of that so what we can do here is then we can apply those um, uh, the variables what we stored sector and then a region 
so that's the first so this is now we are calculating it uh, uh, we this all selected is giving us the full uh, table selected the product color table and then we are applying the filter on top of that because we are at the product level so when we are at uh, so i'm going to copy this part of this because that remains the same so when i'm at the region level i need to apply um, the sales all selected gives me everything i need to apply the filter type and the sector because I don't need to apply the filter on the region so that's what it is going to do and now if I copy this one and paste to the next child level which is a a a, a sector so here I need to only apply the type filter I don't need to apply anything else and for the in the case of the parent uh, which is type on top level that it, it remains the same because there's no change in this so if I now use this filter, uh, sorry, this measure in my visualization should have the identical result of this one. So let me bring it here. Percentage. Here you go. So the identical um, now values uh, calculation. So uh, we 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 look into two or three things we remove filters all selected all selected table and then reapplied the um, uh, you know the the filters on top of that uh, we used is in scope to find out what level we are at and then we just remove the filter of that level so that we can calculate the uh, total of the top parent level of the child level and then um, divided the sales at that level by the parent level sales and the ultimately goal is to find out the parent level sales and, and and then divide the um, the sales of that particular child with the parent and to give the percentage as is in scope helped us to understand which parent we want to divide it with because otherwise we will we can't uh, we don't know where we are at the level and we will not get the result what we're looking at so th this comes quite often when you we have a hierarchy and we want to calculate the share within that uh, parent level parent and child instead of the whole group and then this this kind of functionality can work uh, again the purpose of this was to first I was to show how you can achieve a, a, a solution like this and also to showcase the different uh, DAX functions and how they work and what um, or how you can use those in your solutions I hope you enjoyed these two videos part one and part two and let me know uh, what you guys think about it until next video have a good day thanks for watching do subscribe my channel Thank you once again. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.